Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Pradeep Singh, professional boxer and TV reality star of The Contender. Thank you, Pradeep, for being here. I really appreciate it. Now, it's a pleasure, mate. Now, uh, Pradeep, uh, you've had over 120 amateur fights yes. in boxing. Now, traditionally in the sport of boxing, a fighter who has fought that many times is normally looking to represent their country in the Olympics. Was that yes. an option for you? Yeah, that was. Uh, I represented India for for nearly three years in the International Championship. I went all around the world fighting in the Asian Championship, in the World Cup, and then I came to Australia in 2004 representing India in the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. But there were a bad politics in the Indian team uh, back home, and what they did is they actually banned me from boxing. Oh, why is because that? Because I had uh, eye surgery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had the white spot in my eyes, and, and they said this is uh, illegal for a boxer to have an eye surgery and fight, so you are banning you from boxing. This is the eye bubble. Yeah. But I find out after a few years, because the eye bar doesn't have any, any rule. So yeah. they actually, why they, why they ban my boxing is, in the Commonwealth Games trial, the boxer I knocked out, he was the son of the Indian team coach. Yeah. So they played politics. That's why I had to, uh, I had only option to stay in Australia and turn professional. Yeah, and, while, and whilst turning professional, you were you're actually a part of the Contender, the TV reality series. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, I was the, I'm the first uh, Indian ever who did that, uh, did any kind of uh, boxing TV show, reality TV show. Yeah, that was a good experience, good exposure for me, uh, uh, for training with all the, all the best boxers in Australia. Because you were training with uh, Billy Hussain, was he yeah. your coach? Yeah, Billy Hussain is an amazing guy, he was a good friend and was really good. Uh, he shared all the experience, he's very experienced in boxing, he has uh, some good, uh, really good boxers like Ned Hammond and uh, Billy Deep and and uh, he, a few more, maybe I don't remember the name. Yeah. And he's an amazing trainer. Absolutely. And because I remember watching you uh, when, um, when I was, well, that, was, that aired in 2009, so yes. I would have been around thir 13, 14 years old. And I remember watching you, and you were only 23, was that right? Uh, I was, I think, uh, yeah, I was around 22, 23. Yeah. The, the thing was, at that time, I was too young, and, and I didn't... Yeah. Couldn't speak English. Yeah, that was the biggest problem for me. <laughs> well, uh, you gained a lot of experience and a lot of exposure, and yeah. and, and which eventually uh, led you to having a fight with uh, former world champion Sam Solomon. Yes. Yeah, tell us about that. Uh, it was a good uh, it was a good fight with Sam Solomon. He's a he's a good uh, he's a good boxer, uh, very well experienced, yeah. very well very successful boxer. But when I fought with him, uh, I wasn't. Like I won't say the credit goes to him. He was bad. he was best at the time, but I wasn't at my at my best yeah. because I had to lose 11 kilogram weight just in 24 hours because only option I had uh, to to fight him and I was 11 kilo heavier. Yeah. And so it was pretty bad for me. The night before I fight, I was in the sauna taking yeah. the jet lag. You know, it was pretty bad. And the day when I was fighting, there was nothing left in my body. Yeah. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I couldn't fight my fight. Yeah. But yeah, Sam, Sam was best at that. What should a boxer eat? Like when you leading up to those fights that you've this, had, give us a give us an example. What should a boxer or MMA fighter? What should they eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I would say if you stick with the with more like if you're having uh, the carbs and the protein and the and the vitamins from the from the right sources, uh, even your body needs the fat too. Yeah. So if you're not having the these things from the bad food, bad food, that actually help people. Yeah, because I've, I've heard a saying, like a lot of people say, if you're wanting to cut weight, they say that you should cut out carbs completely. Is that true? Uh, I won't say completely, because uh, your immune system is dead yeah. for the day. And when you eat, you load up again. It takes a long time to build that up, but you're fighting in, in 12 hours time. Yes. And that's so, lots, of, lots of athletes, they complain because their body doesn't walk yeah. as they walk at the training like it doesn't help them and they, they don't they can't perform that well what they do in the training mm -hmm. and I think that's totally because the way they lose the weight the way they uh, cut the cars and cut their water and everything completely yeah your energy levels are decreased decreasing, yeah. Yeah. now pretty my last question to stand off this interview the fight that the whole world's been wanting to see for the past six years got made officially two yeah. weeks ago as Floyd Mayweather will be fighting Manny Pacquiao on May 3rd in Australia. What's your thought on on this fight? Uh, that's a good fight, actually. Yeah. Good for boxing all around the world. 
Uh, what, hard to say. Both boxers are well, well experienced, they're great boxer. But I think uh, my weather, I go yeah. for my weather because he looks a little bit more skilled and, and he always has been successful against his actual boxer. Yes, definitely. But well, saying that, Manny is, is an amazing boxer. Definitely. <laughs> he really don't know. I think well, both even, but I'll go for them. For them. No worries. Thank you, Pradeep, for this interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.